What's up everybody, welcome to the 5150 Gringo Garage. Today, we got this package in the mail. I don't know what it says, but we're gonna open it up and see what it is. I know it's from a company that's already sent me some solar lights um, and the company is Opponent. Um, so far, all their solar lights, I still have them up. The same spot as when I posted those videos before. And so far, they're still working great, so thumbs up to them. Um, they sent this one out, they said we got a nice light for you to try out and sent it so I'm, i don't even remember what it is or what it is so i'm gonna open it up we're gonna check it out together and go from there all right so we got our solar panel and this solar panel looks kind of like the other solar panels that comes with their their stuff um, so this is Mac. I'm gonna read it off to you because I, I don't know the specs because this is the first time I'm seeing it. So max power six watts, uh, max voltage is six volts. It's one amp, 7.2 volts on an open circuit, um, and working temperature is negative 45 degrees Celsius to 85 degrees Celsius. Um, all right, and it looks like you have your regular little plug-in that will go to looks like maybe two different lights. So we got two. These little connectors. So let's go ahead and set that up right here. Okay, looks like there's some little uh, hang down lights. Here we go, here's a picture of what they look like. Something like that. So these are solar pendant lights. And these are six volt, six watt polysilicone, 3.7 volt battery, 220, oh, 220, 2200 milliamp, lithium ion battery so it's got 120 leds uh you've got cool white warm white switchable um, and it is made out it's got aluminum housing it's a charge time of six to eight hours so perfect for tomorrow when the sun comes up um, you could get 100 percent of the power from six to eight hours and 50 percent power you're going to get about 12 over 12 hours of lighting so which is nice i mean that's plenty of time to be out in the backyard and having it lit up full power i mean you, six hours did i say that was six hours so yeah six to eight hours full full charge that's plenty of time to be out back um, with your lights on or i might even hang it up above the barbecue and the griddle so then i got these lights just lighting it up you got the uh, remote looks just like the other remotes that come with the other uh, solar panels which has your auto and your two hour four hour six hour eight hour and your brightness and your on and off so you could change it to an auto mode so here's another good way to use like if you're camping check it out just hang them up in your tent man indoor outdoor so easy to clean bada bing bada boom i'm i'm happy to try these ones out this one is just a thank you and that's how that's the company right here opponent all right here's our solar light got two of these the housing for the solar that's aluminum and I'm going to say that the actual um, lights are like plastic. So there you have it. 3.2, um, 3.7 volt, 200, 2,200 milliamp battery inside this. So the battery is inside here. So it will charge from the solar panel. Each cord, plug them right in. So I've got two of those. And they're fairly small, which is kind of cool. So they're easy to, you know, hang. They're super light. They don't weigh nothing, so you can hang them anywhere, you know, and they'll just hang up just like this. It's got a pretty thick cable on it. So, I mean, I, I'd imagine that'll hang for a long time. I don't think the wire's going to have any problems if you want to mount them somewhere. All right. Comes with a few zip ties and the remote. So once again, we're gonna go ahead, throw this, we're gonna throw this solar panel outside in the morning, let it charge all day. We're gonna see how bright it is and we'll get back to you then. All right guys, so I'm back. We got the lights charged up. We had this sitting outside for as long as I can. It's been kind of cloudy here in California, so I let it charge for a few days, whatever sun I can. Uh, got my remote ready. We got our lights, they're plugged in, and I'm gonna go ahead, fire them up. So, 
just with the on button here. So there we have it. That is our um, warm white. You can see the color. And our cool white, just like this one. I'm a warm white guy myself, so I don't really care for the cool white. So we're gonna leave it on warm white. We got two, four, six, and eight hour um, that I can set it on for. And we got their off button, of course. On button, you can adjust the brightness. So this is, you push up on the pad, go up, and down to dim it. And then if you push right, that's half power, left, full power. So we're sitting in the camper here. Let's turn off all the lights and just see kind of how bright it is. So I'm just gonna go ahead, start turning things off. Well, let's go ahead and turn this off first. Just so you can see how dark it gets. Okay, so we're in the pitch black, just say we're uh, camping and we got no light. Where batteries are dead. There you have it. So these run off the solar. So just say you're camping, which I might use them for this reason. Um, yeah. All right, guys. So what would be nice with this is just say I go dry, dry camping. My batteries on the trailer die and I have no light. Well, I've got solar lights that'll last me all night long. Um, or if you don't want to drain your battery, you can use these also. You put them under your awning, put them in your trailer. I mean, put them in your house, you know, in case the power goes out, uh, all kinds of different things. So, I mean, they're, you know, fairly bright, as you can see. Like so we'll turn on this light to, for a comparison. So this one's actually pretty bright, but we'll go ahead and try the cool white for the people that like the cool white. There you go. And the warm white. Pretty good. This is just lit up off these lights only. Um, of course the fireplace got a little bit, but not much at all. As you can tell, we turn the lights off. I mean, you can't see nothing in here. We got them on. And there it is. So another nice thing about these lights too, as you can see, this one I didn't unravel, but this one, this cord goes on and on and on and on and on. So it's, a, I want to say it's about 15 feet. So yeah. Pretty sweet. So yeah, that's that you could spread those out pretty good. Alright guys, so here you have it. Here is the little stringy solar lights. Go pick you up some. I think they're pretty cool. I'm gonna just love using them when I'm camping so I don't have to waste any battery power. I don't have to fire up a generator. You know, these things they'll last all night. That's all you need. I mean you saw it, it lit up enough, you know, to make yourself comfortable. Looking pretty good. So anyways, I give this one a thumbs up. Uh, I'll put a link in the description so you guys can pick you up some if you want. Go pick you up two or three or four pair, however many you want. I mean, the more the better, right? And it's solar. So you don't got to go out and buy a solar panel because it comes with it. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching this episode of the 5150 Gringo Garage. And I will see you on the next video.